Yo, what's going on guys? Golden here and today we are coming back with another GTA 5 online how-to video! So my dudes, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to become a G.O.D. in GTA 5 online, okay? Hi! Okay. So, first things first, what we what we need to become a G.O.D. is... Guess what? Settings! Yeah, you got it right. So, the settings were asked a lot by the subs and other people. Like, they were like asking me all the time. Please, can you show me your settings? Please, can you show me your settings? So, my dudes, I have... Um, two or three kind of settings for you in this video. So yeah, let's just start up with the settings. All right, so settings. Let's get to the settings. So guys, I play standard FPS, as you all know, seeing me on the live streams and all of that stuff. So, um, the difference between standard FPS and standard FPS 2 is that I get to run with R3 and uh, you get to run with R1 and some people play standard with uh, running with X and also in standard FPS 2 you need to jump with X so um, I don't like those settings to be honest I know a lot of people play standard FPS 2 but I assure you, standard FPS is the best settings in GTA, okay? So, um, next what you want to do is, if, you, if you're going to put standard FPS, so you want to run with R3, so you want to hold R3, that's all you do, like hold R3, just like that. And uh, if you're in first person, you don't have to hold R3 at all, you just need to click once, just one click, boom, and there you go. I don't need to click R3 anymore, I'm just sprinting and all of that stuff. And meanwhile, I can use the interaction menu without um, using the sprint button. I can call Lester or the mechanic or whoever I want. I can take the easy way out if I want. Like, it's pretty easy. It's very, very um, suitable for me. So, if you're an RNG player, you will know these settings are for RNG players too. So yeah, and um, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you want to play standard FPS, make sure you go to settings, um, accessibility right here, button assignment, enable and go to customize and change L3 to R3 so you can spring with R3, okay? Now. Um, in settings, I'm gonna show you the sensitivity right now, just like this. This is the settings that I use right now. I change my settings all the time, but um, this is the settings that I have right now. You all can use it. If you want me to make another video about settings, make sure to let me know in the comments and update with new settings, improved settings. Make sure you like for part two. So yeah, this is the settings that I use right here uh, audio it's not important uh, camera this is the settings in camera put this to high put this to off 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 and then put this to on okay so that's all about the settings i'm gonna show you one more thing what i'm talking about the uh, dead zone probably somebody's gonna ask me why you have zero dead zone in third person and one dead zone in first person so the reason is you probably have seen putter play right so it's like uh, the drag the drag scope like the drag scope is when you when you drag your aim towards uh, a player or an npc or an object so this is a drag scope right so you you drag your your aim towards something i uh, i don't find i can't find a better word to explain this, but I think drag scope is pretty fine. Now, uh, some people like to snipe in third person. I like to snipe in first person. Just like uh, 
just like Pyber, he plays in third person and all of that. But this works for both, uh, for both third person and first person. You probably have seen me fight in first person and all of that, and you probably been wondering. So if you want to be a good sniper, guys, if you want to be a good sniper, you need to have your dead zone zero in third person or one, and the first person put it to one, two or zero. Depends on how you like it. So if you want to be a really good sniper, like you want to put your drag scope like to somebody's head, like forehead, like you want to destroy someone with a drag scope or something like that and make him make a backflip. That's all you want to do, like put the dead zone to zero. Like it's very deadly if you want to if you want to play like good players and all of that. Make sure you, you train on drag scope. I know it's kind of it's kind of hard for beginners. It was hard for me too, but trust me, you're gonna be a G.O.D. in sniping. So yeah. All right, guys. So the second thing that we need to become a G.O.D. in GTA is weapon attachments. So I'm gonna be showing you my weapon attachments right now. So this is the heavy sniper. Um, if you wanna 1v1 somebody, if you wanna fight somebody in a 1v1 battle or something like that, I recommend you to use the uh, heavy sniper MK1 because it's like, it's smoother and uh, it's it's easier to drag scope somebody, it's easier to um, to snipe jets and um, oppressors and all of that stuff. So yeah, make sure you put the advanced scope and I like to use the orange tint. But if you wanna play free mode and if you wanna play uh, public lobbies and all of that, make sure you put the MK2 with uh, extended clip, um, thermal scope, muzzles, make sure you put bell end muzzle brake. Uh, barrels, heavy barrel. I like the school livery, uh, livery color. Doesn't matter. You can put it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it to on your taste. Um, classic white. You can change. This is not important to the performance of the sniper, but this is uh, really important for me because I mostly play in bad sport because I want to fight all the time. And there's a lot of people that go in wall breaches or people that go ghost. So this is the perfect uh, sniper to uh, find people and uh, locate them. And you can easily snipe somebody um, when they are like far away from you. Sometimes with the MK1 on a PS4 render distance is uh, basically um, not that good. So you will need the heavy sniper MK2. But if you're in good sport, you can use the thermal lens. Uh, uh, combat helmet that you can buy, costs like 100k. So, uh, heavy sniper, uh, combat MG. Uh, you wanna go to magazines, extended clip, grips, make sure you put a grip. If you don't have it unlocked, you can unlock it on a bunker research. Uh, scopes, uh, I, don't, I don't like to use a scope. Uh, you can use the holographic or the large scope for better accuracy, but it's gonna lower your range. So that's why I use this because I can lock uh, more. Um, I, I can lock better to someone that is not close to me. So muzzles, you want to use the fat end, fat end muzzle brake. Um, I like to use the fat end muzzle brake because it reduces recoil and it's. Uh, um, it's deadly. Um, barrels, you want to put the heavy barrel, you need to unlock it with the bunker research. Livery, you can choose a livery by your own. This does not affect the, the performance of the gun. Uh, I'm just going to put patriotic here. Tents, you can use whatever you want. Back, now. Marksman rifle, you can use the marksman rifle if you're uh, fan of it, don't put a flashlight, scopes, make sure you put the zoom scope, muzzles, 
put the split end or you put the fat end again, but I prefer the split end on the marksman. Or you can put the suppressor. The suppressor um, will keep you quiet, so the players won't panic when you're gonna shoot to them. Uh, grips, make sure you put a grip. Barrels, put a heavy barrel. Livery, this is not important, so yeah. Uh, pump shotgun, ammo types, make sure you put the explosive slugs on the pump shotgun. Make sure you upgrade it to pump shotgun MK2. You will need the bunker research for this, the explosive sh shotgun, uh, the explosive ammo, sorry. Uh, flashlight, don't put a flashlight. Scopes, you can keep no, you can keep uh, a holographic sight or or uh, no attachment. It doesn't make a really big difference. Uh, muzzles, you can put the muzzle brake. It helps the damage. Livery, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, special carbine, uh, extended clip, flashlight, no flashlight. Scopes, make sure you use a large scope so you have a better accuracy. Uh, muzzles, make sure you use a suppressor because it's um, it's like an RNG gun, like a lot of YouTubers have done video about this. So it's it's a better, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a better, uh, it gives you a better accuracy on the target. Um, grips, put a grip, heavy barrel, and this is not important. You can put whatever you want. Heavy revolver, I like to use the full, full metal jacket round. So you can kill speedo vans or bulletproof uh, cars with uh, bulletproof windows. Um, you can use a small scope here or a holographic. No flashlight. Put a compensator. And this is not important. So yeah, that was pretty much it about the weapon attachments. Alright guys, the next option is the gun locker, so the weapon loadout. Um, you can have a custom weapon loadout, or you will have just a normal loadout without the custom one. So, I keep a few weapons, I don't, I don't keep all my weapons that I've bought in the game. So you want to have the gun locker here. It doesn't have to be the CA office, you can have it on your clubhouse. You can have it on your bunker, etc, etc. So, you want to go in front of your locker and you want to make the custom weapon loadout. So, um, I like to use the combat MJ, I like to use the heavy sniper and the heavy weapons and all of that. So, um, melee weapons, I'm gonna hide them. Uh, pistols, I hide all the pistols. Machine guns, yeah, I'm gonna only show the combat MJ that's bodying a lot of people. Uh, rifles, uh, I'm hiding all the rifles. I don't use the special carbine, to be honest. Uh, shotguns, I use the pump shotgun. So, the pump shotgun is very deadly in close range. Uh, sniper rifles. I use both of them, so when I hit somebody, if somebody's two shots or three shots, I can finish him off with a marksman. I love it. Heavy weapons, I use the grenade launcher, the RPG and the homing launcher. Explosives, I only use the sticky bombs. So yeah, that was all about the weapon loadout, as you can see, I, have, I only use these weapons. And uh, yeah. One more thing that I want to show you guys is um, if you want to 1v1 somebody or if you're like if you feeling that you want to win against someone what you want to do is you want to go to devices you want to go to controllers and you want to go to communication method and you want to put it to use USB cable now if you want to if you want to know what this means is if you're going to put this to USB cable like the controller is gonna be um, the controls on your controller are gonna be faster so when you run or when you shoot the the PlayStation is gonna react faster than the Bluetooth it's uh, it, it makes sense right logically if you use the USB cable the PlayStation is will be faster 
and it will react faster. So if you want, won't be wanting somebody, put the USB cable on on the controller and uh, you will be eating 100%, 100%. So guys, I don't want to make any more um, tips on this video. I don't want to make a very, very long video. I want to I want to leave space for part two. So if you want me to make a part two, including outfits and other shit like that, make sure to drop a like and let me know on the comments below what should I do next? Should I do like gameplays in free mode? How to outsmart tryhards? How to play dirty? How to play like a tryhard or other other how-to videos? Just let me know in the comments. So I have no idea what uh what should I post next? So yeah, just let me know in the comments below. I will really appreciate that, mate. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I see you guys on the next one. Peace out.